Welcome to this Prezi on exam preparation. Today we'll look at a preparing for exams, studying for exams, writing exams, and reducing university exams are comprehensive, and your instructors expect you to cover a lot more material than you did in high school exams. To prepare for university exams, study on a regular basis and learn the study strategies that work for you. Remember, it's the quality and not the quantity of time you spend studying that counts. Take a look at the Prezi on Studying Basics for further information. It is crucial that you maintain regular sleeping patterns during school. Sleep is very important for moving information from your short-term memory to your long-term memory, so even a few missed hours of sleep can affect your exam performance. It is a common pitfall for students to spend time studying for a test by passively reading their notes instead of actively practicing what they'll have to do on the test. You must practice for an exam by recalling information, organizing it, and applying it to practice questions. Also, you have to figure out what the most important information is to study because you will not be able to remember every detail from the course. Keep the 80-20 rule in mind. 80% of the test questions will be based on only 20% of the facts and ideas covered in your course. You should start studying as close to the exam date as possible, without waiting until the last minute. When you start also depends on your learning methods and under how much pressure you prefer to study. Use your weekly schedule to plan for study times before an exam. Here are some strategies for exam preparation. Write a short summary of all lectures' key concepts at the bottom of your notes. Use this as a guide while you study for an exam. Find a place to study that duplicates as many of the exam conditions as possible, that is, somewhere quiet where you will not be interrupted. Have a clear understanding of the exam layout. Are the questions primarily from the lectures, textbook, or outside readings? Is it cumulative? Prepare for an exam a little bit every day by reviewing material from two or three courses. Studying in frequent, short chunks helps you remember the material. Study by reading material from the end of the course to the beginning of the course. That way, you will cover important, less familiar topics first. Review your previous exams and pay attention to your instructor's comments. Move on to the next topic if you can answer all of your study questions without hesitation. Devote more time to questions you consistently get wrong. Relax the night before an exam. Review your notes one last time before you go to bed because your brain processes and stores the last information it receives that day. Let's take a look at some general test-taking strategies that can help you in any type of exam. Acknowledge any stress you feel and then bring your focus back to the exam. Read all of the instructions. This will help you mentally get in the zone. Budget your time. First address the questions you can answer the most knowledgeably. This gives you time to think about the more difficult questions. Think about how you are going to answer the questions before you begin to write. Change answers only if you're positive you have provided an incorrect answer. Jot down part of the answer in the margins if you cannot think of the complete answer right away. There are strategies you can use to help you write different types of exams and answer certain types of questions. For essay exams, read through the instructions and the questions first. Underline key words that will help you stay on track. Organize your thoughts before you write them down by using outlines or concept maps. Although this may seem like a drain on your time, it will actually help you create well-reasoned answers. Take-home exams have much higher standards than in-class exams. Draft your answers carefully on a piece of paper and then copy them neatly into the test booklet. Open book tests allow you to refer to your textbook and or your notes. To prepare for this type of exam, pay attention to the main themes and objectives of the course. Short answer questions usually require the definition of a concept, a specific example of the concept and characteristics of the example, and relation of the concept to a course objective. Take a look at the number of marks the question is worth to determine how many points you need to answer. True-false options can include absolutes such as all, every, and never. Be very cautious with these types of questions because absolutes are a rarity. If you cannot decide on an answer, circle the question and move on immediately. One of the other questions may give you clues about the answer. Multiple choice questions test your ability to recognize the correct answer. 
Read the question and all of the options very carefully. After reading the question, anticipate the answer and look for it among the choices. Try to use the process of elimination if the answer isn't immediately apparent. If a question seems confusing, write it out in your own words and then select the answer. Problem solving questions can be quite complex, so you need to plan your time carefully and pay attention to the number of marks for each question. Try to read through all of the questions first, and then answer the easier questions. Underline the words that indicate what you have to solve. This keeps you focused on the task at hand. Before you answer a question, it can be helpful to draw a diagram or list the steps to help you solve a problem. Test anxiety is a common theme among many post-secondary students. A moderate amount of anxiety can actually help you focus and pay attention when you write an exam. However, students who are prevented from performing well on exams and have severe symptoms should speak to a counselor. To help reduce test anxiety, you can make a list of actions you can take to improve your exam performance. For example, you can schedule regular breaks into your study times. Also, remember to focus on what you have control over. You do not have control over the questions, the amount of time, or the marking. But you do have control over how you study, how much you study, and what you do in the exam room. Thanks for viewing this presentation on exam preparation. Happy studying!